What is up? My mates of YouTube, Aussie Marcel here, and we are back in the Capital Wasteland. Some very interesting developments going on in Auspol in Australian politics right now. Uh, specifically, the introduction of social media bans for children. Just be made aware, and this applies especially to those of my mates here in Australia, that the government will act tyrannically under the guise of protecting children or protecting its citizens. In this case, they are using the implementation of a social media ban to then implement a digital ID system. Now, on the surface, they're going to say that this is to protect children because, I mean, that's such, a, such an inoffensive soundbite. Oh, we've got to protect the kids. We've got to protect children. Think about the dangers of social, social media, you know? We can't be having 14 year olds on, on Facebook. It's just no good. I get it. And it sounds reasonable, but the way that they will be implementing a digital ID system is to then keep track of us. Your privacy and your freedom are two things that are inherent and you have every right to protect. So don't go along with what the government is trying to spoon feed you, protect your freedom, protect your own privacy, get out there and make it heard that you do not want the implementation of social media bans or digital ID. These are two things we absolutely must fight against, that we've got to rally together and fight against because the implementation of these things is criminal to say the least. You've got to remember that these systems are put into place so that the government can have better access to your information so that they can keep track of you. And we saw the beginning, we saw the um the framework of this implemented during covid with qr codes now i've touched on this briefly in um other videos this is a terrible thing we saw how damaging qr codes were why the government needs this information is anyone's guess but it has been done under the guise of protecting children it said enough is enough and that it was time to implement legislation that will protect children from predators the implementation of digital ID is bad because it is just a precursor to social credit scores. We see it in China. We've seen it in China. You can go to China right now and you can bear witness to a social credit score system. I just thought I would add that the eSafety Commissioner has made a recommendation that it is not just social media platforms that need to be monitored but also other social platforms including video games so for instance that would be minecraft roblox and fortnite banning children from playing video games is another step towards a tyrannical future that we just simply do not need here in australia we've got it bad enough as it is do we really need to stop children from having fun if i can be real with you for just a second I'm just tired, man. I'm tired of slimeball politicians that act like they know better than I do, that act like they know better than anyone else, and try and manipulate them into living their lives a certain way. I'm tired of politicians and people in power, people that are a little higher up on the hierarchy, trying to manipulate things in such a way that benefits them rather than contributes positively to the overall grand scheme of things. And I can't be the only one here that's utterly exhausted by how disenfranchised the Australian public has become over the last five or so years. Obviously, the threads of it extend back further than five years ago. Um, when I was at university, like at the tail end of Tony Abbott and all of that, that's when I sort of started to notice how terrible things were shaping up. But nowadays, man, it is just, it is utterly exhausting and these slimeball politicians thinking that they know best with their false fatherly sage advice it's just it's just not on and i'm truly well and truly fed up with it how many dystopian science fiction novels or movies do we need to watch or read before we understand how terrible it is to track the populace to such a, a tremendous degree that they can't even move or socialize freely. Freedom of the press, freedom of speech, and freedom of movement. These are inherent things that we need to fight and protect. We need to be protecting our ability to just get online and just share our thoughts like this. 
I don't want that taken from me. Do you want that taken from you? Australia and all across the Western world, we are facing unprecedented challenges when it comes to our own agency and our own freedoms. I would hope that everyone here educates themselves and finds the necessary information and uses it in a way that you fight against the system. The first part of all of this is to simply raise awareness for the issue at hand. There have been dozens of reports in the last 24 hours detailing in much greater length the broader implications of an implementation of a digital ID system and this banning of social media for children. Don't let the government pull the wool over your eyes yet again. We ha it happened during the Victorian lockdowns and the lockdowns across Australia during the pandemic, or as it's known nowadays to those that know, the scamdemic. It's kind of funny to me that you can talk about stuff like this and still be criticised for having an opinion when the proof was in the implementation of the entire system itself. There's hours upon hours of footage of people having their liberty, their agency and their livelihoods taken from them simply because of a lockdown. Just remember, my mates of YouTube, to stand up against tyranny, to say no to the implementation of a digital ID system and to social media bans across the country because the broader implications here are uh, terrifying to say the least. Now, let me know in the comments below what you guys think of this. What actions are you going to be taking to protect yourself from this? And until the next video, my name is Ozzy Marcel, and I will catch you guys around.